Hey everybody, I'm Miss Megan, and today I'm going to be reading on a magical do-nothing day. Here we were again, me and Mom in the same cabin, the same forest, the same rain, Dad back in the city. Mom sat at her desk, quietly writing, while I destroyed some Martians. Actually, I was just pressing the button over and over. I wish Dad were here. What about a break from your game? Mom growled. Is this going to be another day of doing nothing? She was right. There was nothing I wanted to do except destroy Martians. She took the game out of my hands and hid it, as usual. I found it, as usual, and went outside. Where it felt like everything in our garden was hiding from the rain. I held my game tightly. Maybe it would protect me from this boring, wet place. I walked down the hill. At the bottom of our path, I saw some flat rocks in the pond. The rocks were round, like the heads of the Martians. I wanted to jump on them and crush them. Oh no! What did I do? My game fell into the pond. This could not be happening to me. I stuck my hand into the water to grab it. It was so icy cold, I screamed. Without my game, I had nothing to do. The rain felt like rocks were hitting me. I was a small tree trapped outside in a hurricane. Just then, there were four lights and four huge snails appeared. Was there anything to do around here, I asked them. Yes, indeed, they told me. I reached out and touched their antenna. As soft as jello, it made me smile. So I followed them down a path and found dozens of mushrooms. The air was so damp. I knew the smell from when I was small. My grandparents' basement, my cave full of treasures. I felt a sense that there was something special close by that I was surrounded. I bent down and dug my fingers into the mud where a thousand seeds and pellets, kernels, grains, roots, and berries touched my fingers and hands. An underground world full of treasures that I could feel. I looked up at the sky. Sunbeams fell down through a giant strainer and blinded me. I thought I heard the beat of drums from far away, but that sound was my heart. I felt filled up with energy and began running fast, so fast, I fell down the hill. And there at the bottom was everything turned upside down. The whole world seemed brand new, as if it had been created right in front of me. I climbed a tree and looked out as far as my eyes could see. I breathed in air until my lungs were bursting. I drank the raindrops like an animal would. I noticed bugs I'd never seen before. I talked to a bird. I made my biggest splash. Then I collected smooth stones as clear as glass and watched the world shining through them. Why hadn't I done these things before today? Soaked to my bones, I ran inside the house and took off my coat and looked in the mirror. Oh! Thought I saw my dad smiling at me. My mother was there, still writing, but now she looked different, like one of the creatures outside. Oh, you're soaked, I'll dry you. She took a towel and brought me to the kitchen. I felt like giving her a big hug. I wanted to tell her what I had seen, felt, and tasted outside in the world. But I didn't. We just sat in the kitchen, looked at each other, and breathed in the delicious smell of our hot chocolate. That's it. That's all we did on this magical do-nothing day. The end.